So is that argument about a, a foreign threat to our elections, is that resonating with other Republicans? Yes. I mean, I've been talking about this, as you know, and a few people know, since 1998, when I first was shown a, a voting machine, I thought, that's absurd. I still, to this day, want to see, you know, besides convicted felon Bob Ney, convicted felon Jack Abramoff, and the Urosevich brothers, who was involved in writing HAVA and why they mandated these machines? I want to know, because they're the ones who wrote it. And now we're all stuck with this post-democracy process. Those very issues, when you bring them up in a partisan setting, from the year 2001 until about the same time I was giving those interviews that a lot of people have seen, I would have fellow Republicans shut me out of meetings, snicker up their sleeves, ha 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 in some circles, or oh, you're just being conspiratorial. I go, no, this is what I do, is network assurance. In the last two years, I've been talking to people, I have focused on this going, look, this genie, we don't know who's changing the vote now. These weird results are coming in with locals. Everyone's like, I, I don't know what to do about it. And when I bring up the fact that these systems can easily be hacked and demonstratively hacked by sophisticated state actors like China or Israel or Russia, it freezes people in their place who from a partisan aspect they go, snicker, snicker, we know more than one part or the other do. And frankly, there are Democrats who snicker, they think they've got on Republicans, or Republicans who snicker, they've got on the Democrats. But both parties freeze and go, oh my God, you're right. You've built a vulnerable system and there are many people who would want to exploit that vulnerability. And not all of them have the best interest of our nation at heart. They don't.